Okay, so this is a Corona motor. There's a couple of videos online. I saw one from Laser Saber. He made one with a drum on the inside. Uh, it rotates like this, right? So what I wanted to do was make one that I can do in different modules. So this is a borrowed 3D printing design. The outer shells from a hydroponics is pretty popular. And they interlock on top of each other like this, right? So they fall into each other. Um, and then this piece is printed separately and it goes on the inside. These are little aluminum jewelry pieces I found on Amazon. This is, of course, a plastic bearing because uh, I want to keep the conductive things out of it, right? The idea between using something like this and using a drum design, which I'm, I don't know if it's better or worse. I just, just made this, so I haven't really decided yet. Uh, the idea is that I can stack these, and the way that they stack, there's about a 15 degree offset. And the concept is that it's gonna create more torque, right? If you look directly down there, you'll see that they aren't totally lined up. They're just a little bit off. Um, that brings me over to this design over here. And this is the design I actually got working. So as you can see, if you wanna come over from the side as well, uh, we've got little holes on the end here for the wires to come out. Obviously the wires are on this side. It's, on, it's just a symmetrical design. Um, I've got the CD spinning as freely as possible. It could spin a little bit better, uh, but it'll work, right? Um, and then I've got that piece on the inside. So let me start this thing up. This is uh, running off of 12 volts. This is a negative ion generator. I think it's 30,000 volts. Do gotta get a little bit of a start. And I think that's just because it's not quite spinning as free as it could, but there's the proof of concept. There's your Corona motor, electrostatic. This is pulling like, you know, one millivolt amp and, you know, at 30,000 volts. It's pretty neat. So these can be stacked on top of each other all through one piston. I'm going to obviously print more of these and I'll follow up video where we'll have a bunch of these CDs spinning. It's a pretty cool project though.